Hey everyone, Ravi here from Llama Index. Um, so in this video, we'll look into a stepwise controllable agent. So this is a low level, lower level API um, that allows you to step through and control an agent on a more uh, granular approach. So basically, uh, in these cases, task creation and the task execution are separated. So so that you can view each step and uh, together with the upcoming steps as well. So we'll, uh, you can actually see the differentiation when you execute it directly without any uh, stepwise execution and doing stepwise execution uh, in this notebook. So stepwise uh, controllable agents are uh, available with both React agent and uh, function calling agent. Uh, in this notebook, uh, I'll show with the uh, function calling agent, but feel free to uh, experiment with the React agent as well. So let's get started with it. We'll uh, import all the modules required. Uh, set up API key. Uh, we have all the usual uh, calculator functions and we'll create the tools out of it and then uh, we'll create the uh, function calling agent as usual first we'll uh, execute it directly without any stepwise execution so this will help you to uh, understand the differentiation so here the result is 20 like 20 plus 2 multiplied by 4 minus 8 so there is multiplication first and then addition and then subtraction and then the final llm response so um that's how it is executed, right? There are four steps. Uh, one, multiply, then the addition, then the subtraction, and then the final LLM response. Now let's see how you can do this stepwise uh, rather than in uh, one single go, right? So first step is to create this task. This is the task. And then we'll go with the uh, executing the first step, which is run step. And then you get the uh, one step output you can check the uh, step output here you can see that this is not uh, last step and what is the raw output what are the arguments what is the output from this right all those things you can check the uh, step output dot is last which is false so there are uh, steps ahead so run it again uh, so you got the next step which is addition 28 you can check again whether it's last step or not this is not so run it again and then you can see that uh, this is subtraction is done and then probably you, you check if this is the last step again uh, this is false right so you need to run it again so and the LRM response here it ends so and then finally you get a response right so here you can see what are all the different steps you can run through it uh, by checking whether it's a last step or not and get a final response so this is more of a lower level api agent api um, uh, that you can see what are the different steps going on um, executing one step at a time okay we'll observe the similar thing with the react tools as well so we'll consider uh, uh, March, June and September Uber uh, documents and uh, let's load the data. This will take some time uh, because of the huge uh, number of pages in each of the document. And then we'll uh, create index and tools. Um, so we have a function to define, get the tool. Uh, this will uh, create index and then uh, create query engine and then define the tool so let's do that and then let's create uh, uh, tools for uh, March, June and September and get the query engine tools now we'll uh, create the agent and then first let's do the direct execution analyze the changes in R&D expenditures and revenue let's see how it works so I think still it's loading the data it will take a minute of time probably uh, 
even indexing might take more time so let's see and then once it is executed so and then we can see the stepwise execution as well uh, again by creating the task and running one step at a time and checking whether it's a last step or not right so we'll see how it works so yeah so here you can see it called the march 2022 first and then uh, it gave some output then it went for uh, june tool and then again think the final one the september right so this gave the output and you'll get a final response um, so here as well there are uh, four steps right uh, first calling the march then uh, june september and then the final llm response so so that's how it is uh, let's do the uh, stepwise execution now and then create the task and you can check the first step so it called uh, march 2022 tool with uh, input r and expenditures and revenue and then check if it is last step which is false and then run the next step again right um it should ideally call the june yeah june 2022 tool and then if check if the last step now run again it should call the september 1 now so yeah this is the september 1 and then yeah let's check this is the last step it should be no and then next step this is like the llm response ideally yeah so this is the last step and finally get the response that's it so we went through each step individually and got the final response and also you can actually give a separate input in the one of these steps right uh, as a human feedback so let's create the agent and create the task let's run first step the first step is uh, march whatever we have seen um yeah uh, it called the march uh, tool and then it gets the response yeah, obviously this is not the last step uh, the next step we have seen is june so we'll ask uh, with the input what about september so now it will it should ideally call september yeah so with the september tool and it generates a response accordingly so in this way you can uh, check individual uh, step wise in outputs and also uh, add human feedback uh, into the system and then see uh, how the output changes so let's say some uh, sometimes the some of these steps uh, uh, may be missed then you can add a uh, human feedback and then uh, right into get into the right direction so that's how you can use uh, stepwise controllable agents um, do experiment with it and uh, explore the notebook see you in the next video